Consider a closed rectangular box with a square base with side x inches and height y inches as shown here on the right. Number one, find an equation for the surface area of the box. Let's let the surface area be equal to s, which is equal to, the surface area is equal to the sum of the area of the six faces. The six faces are the top, the bottom, the left side, the right side, the front side, and the back side. Well, notice the bottom and the top both have an area of x times x, or x squared square inches, and therefore the area of the top and bottom would be two times x squared, or two x squared, plus the dimensions of the four remaining faces are all the same. Each face is x inches by y inches, or xy square inches, indicating we now add four xy to get the total surface area. Again, two x squared is the area of the top and the bottom, and 4xy is the area of the four remaining faces, meaning the left side, right side, front, and back sides. Number two, if the surface area of the box is 126 square inches, find dy dx when x equals three inches and y equals nine inches. For number two, we substitute 126 for s, and we use the equation 126 equals two x squared plus four xy. And now to find dy dx, because we have an implicit equation, we perform implicit differentiation. This indicates the next step is to differentiate both sides with respect to x. Remember when performing implicit differentiation, when we differentiate an x term, we differentiate like we normally do. When we differentiate a y term, we need to apply the chain rule we differentiate with respect to y and then multiply by a factor of dy dx. Beginning on the left, the derivative of 126 with respect to x is zero, equals on the right side, the derivative of two x squared with respect to x is four x, plus, we need to be careful when differentiating four xy, we need to apply the product rule here because we treat four x as a function and we also treat y as a function. So applying the product rule of differentiation, we have the first function of four x, and then times the derivative of y with respect to x. Again, we're treating y as a function of x here. We know the derivative of y with respect to x is just dy dx, but if we do want to apply the chain rule, we would differentiate y with respect to y, which is one, and then times dy dx. Either way, we have times dy dx, and then plus the second function of y times the derivative of four x with respect to x, which is just four. And now we need to solve for dy dx. Let's go ahead and subtract four x and also subtract four y on both sides. This would give us negative four x minus four y equals four x times dy dx. And now to solve for dy dx, we need to divide both sides by four x. Let's divide the right side by four x. Let's divide each of the two terms on the left by four x. Simplifying four x divided by four x simplifies to one. We have dy dx isolated on the right side, which is equal to, on the left side, four x divided by four x simplifies to one, but we have a negative sign here. So we have negative one, and then four divided by four simplifies to one, leaving us with minus y over x. Let's go ahead and write this as dy dx equals negative one minus y divided by x. And now we'll determine dy dx when x equals three and y equals nine. We often write this as dy dx with a vertical bar and then the point three comma nine for x equals three and y equals nine. So we substitute three for x and nine for y, which gives us negative one minus y over x, which is nine divided by three. Simplifying, we have negative one minus three, which is negative four. So the value of dy dx at the point three comma nine, or when x is three inches and y is nine inches, is negative four. I hope you found this helpful.